Today, I'm going to show you how to connect the Uniview intercom kit with an electronic door strike. You can use pretty much any strike, such as the Hess 8000 from Asa Abloy or this universal door strike from Seek Alarm. The Uniview intercom allows you to activate the strike in three different ways. First, you can use the indoor station to unlock the door by opening the camera in live view and pushing the unlock button. Similarly, you can use your phone to open the door remotely by pushing unlock in the Uniview Link app while viewing the intercom in the live view. And lastly, you can use an NFC access card to unlock the door. You can add the credentials of the card in the web interface of the intercom. And then all you need to do is tap the card on the reader for it to unlock. So that's what the reader does, but how difficult is it to set up? Well, thankfully it's not too complicated. Let me show you how everything is wired together. In front of me, I have the intercom, an electric door strike, and a power supply for the door strike, as well as the cable harness for the intercom. So first, on the back of the intercom, you must connect the included cable harness and make sure that you install it with the clips facing to the right, like this. And if you accidentally install it the other way around, like this way, then the door strike will not activate. So please make sure that you install it with the clips facing towards the right. Now that we have the wiring harness connected, you want to find two wires. So we want to find the wire that's white with yellow stripes, as well as the one that's white with green stripes. So find these two wires and separate them out because this is what we're going to use with the door strike. And so this, this intercom can be powered um, using a PoE cable, like an Ethernet cable. But if you don't have PoE, then you can also use the red and the black wire to power it. So if you're using uh, DC power for the intercom, make sure you separate out the red and the black wire as well. Now that we have everything separated out, we're ready to connect. So we're going to take the positive wire of our power supply and connect it with the positive wire on our door strike, like this. Okay, then we're going to take the negative wire of the power supply and connect it to the yellow and white wire that we separated out earlier. So this yellow and white wire is called lock one common. And it's going to connect again to the negative of our power supply, just like this. Now the last thing we need to do is connect the negative of the door strike to the white and green wire that we separated out earlier. So just like this, this white and green wire is what's labeled as lock one normally open. So we're going to connect those two together. And here's a wiring diagram so that you can see what's going on. The positive of the power supply is connecting to the positive of the electric strike. And then the negative of the electric strike is connecting to the white and green wire, which is called lock one normally open. And then the white and yellow wire is connecting to the negative of the power supply, which completes the circuit and completes the loop. As a side note, if you want the door to unlock when the power goes out, then you will need to set the lock to NC, which is normally closed. Then instead of connecting the door strike negative wire, to lock one normally open as we've done right here, you would instead connect it to lock one normally closed, which is this pink wire right here. This will put the intercom into fail safe mode, which means that the door will stay unlocked when the power goes out. Once you connect the negative door strike to lock one normally open, the wiring is complete and we have a circular loop going from the power supply to the door strike to the intercom and back to the power supply. When the unlock button is pressed, the intercom will bridge these two wires together, completing the circuit and opening the door strike. By default, the strike will open for five seconds. 
You can change this by logging into the web interface of the intercom and setting the door open duration. This setting can be found under setup, system, ports and devices, and door configuration. You can also visit the I.O. input menu to configure a door magnet or a push button. The intercom can connect to two door magnets or two push buttons at the same time. By default, inputs 1 and 2 are configured as door magnets, while 3 and 4 are configured as push buttons, but you can easily change that from this menu. You can also set one of the inputs to fire alarm mode. Only one fire alarm is supported on the system, and when triggered, it will automatically open the door so that people can leave in the event of a fire. Alright, that pretty much covers the main things you need to know when using the Uniview intercom with an electric door strike. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out Uniview's user manual. It's over a hundred pages long and covers every single setting in more detail. I'll put a link in the video description below so that you can download it yourself if you're interested. I'm also planning to make a generalized tutorial showing you how to set up the Uniview intercom in a step-by-step -step process. A link will be pinned in the comment section below once that's available. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more helpful Uniview tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.